Are you looking to change or personalize your call sign? Don't worry, vanity call signs do just that. Today, we are gonna take a look at how to get one set up so you can express your creativity through your personal call sign. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest ham news. All right, guys, so with that, let's jump into the computer and apply for our vanity call sign. There's a couple of useful resources out there, um, and you can find those on the ARRL.org website. So if you go over here, we'll link this in the video description for you, um, but uh, the uh, there's a, a whole page dedicated to getting your vanity call sign uh, through the FCC's vanity call sign program. Uh, so right out, it'll talk about the about program. You can read through that and stuff like that. The um, one thing I want to point out here is the call sign choices not available. So if you click on that, that's going to go through some of the things that are not available when you're choosing your vanity call sign. Uh, and you can read through this to kind of get an idea on what you can and cannot do with your um, requesting of your call sign. So for our second website, um, we're going to go to Radio QTH. Uh, this is just uh, for informational purposes. I like to use this website because it's a nice visual way to see um, w how to build your vanity call sign. So what letters do you put at the front, what letters do you put at the end, and what numbers do you use? So um, here you have a little display of um, the different options. Um, for a technician class, you can either choose a 1x3 or a 2x3. Um, that's going to be two letters then your number, and then two uh, or three letters, um, versus, or, or the one by three is just one letter at the beginning. Um, but you can check um, your different amateur radio classes are gonna give you different options for this. So, but for a technician class, um, which is what I am, uh, you can either one by three or two by three. So I wanna select one by three, and then that will change the options here to give you your prefix. So you can either start with a K, an N or a W. And I'm going to select W because that's what I chose for my vanity call sign. And then uh, you'll go to select your district. And this is your uh, radio region that you want to be. Um, you can choose any number you want. Uh, doesn't have to be the region that you're in currently. Um, but the way I did it, I went with the region that I currently live in. So I'm going to go with zero here. And then you just put in the, the suffix. And that is as simple as that. Um, now that is your call sign built. So you take your prefix, you, then you put your district, and then you put your, the suffix at the end. So this would be W0EZA um, is the call sign we've built here. So um, I don't usually use the search function here because um, it usually doesn't do much. Uh, you may have better luck than me, but uh, um, you're more than welcome to go ahead and play around with the different options there. And then once you have the call sign or call signs that you would like to choose from, then we head over to the FCC. Okay, so the next site we want to visit is the FCC's website, um, specifically their ULS system or Universal Licensing System. And uh, if you scroll all the way down here, there's a license archive search as well as a license search. So once you've selected the call sign you'd like, um, or ideally picked a couple of them so that you have some choices, go ahead and click on the license search. This is gonna bring you to search for a call sign. Just type that call sign in and click on search. It's gonna go through and it's gonna scan and see if that is an active call sign. If it is, it will show up. And as you can see, mine is. And so um, it shows up. Now, um, if you want to search for other ones as well, go ahead and just click this new search and that will bring you right back to that page. Now, uh, if we back up a couple, uh, that will take us back to this FCC uh, Universal Licensing System uh, overview page. Uh, this time we can go to License Archive Search. So the reason we do this is because um, if you 
search for the license on the, uh, just the license search, that searches active ones. Uh, the archive will search any that um, have expired as well. So we can go in here and search for your call sign. All you have to do is type the call sign in to the call sign field. You don't have to fill out any of the other stuff and either just click enter or click search at the bottom. That will search the archives to see if that's ever been used in the past. And as you can see, um, mine is current and active. It shows up again. So um, with that, if you have found zero results on both the license search and the license archive search, now we can proceed to the final step of actually applying for one. So if we head back to the universal licensing system, uh, right up here at the top um, on the line that says new user registration online uh, file online and obtain official ULS authorization. We're going to click on that third one and that's going to bring us to a page where you can uh, get the um, link for the licensing manager. Now we'll put this in the video description as well so that you have an easy access to it but if you want to find it yourself that's how you can do that. We're gonna click on that. This will take us to the license manager. You do have to sign in with your FRN number and password. So let me do that real quick. And keep in mind the FCC website can sometimes, uh, specifically the licensing manager, can sometimes take a bit to load. And uh, all right, so here's the main page. Um, all we have to do here is go right over to the right side and there's a request vanity call sign button or link. Click on that. And then it will uh, present you with um, a, a couple questions. First off, it's going to ask you, are you exempt from the FCC fees? Uh, most cases, you'll just answer no because not exempt. And uh, click OK or next. All right, so on the next page, um, we have a select eligibility. Uh, so we're going to click on the primary station preference list. And that's just going to let us fill in a list of call signs that uh, we would like to pick from or the FCC to pick from. Um, and it'll do it in f sequential order. So if the first one you request is not available, they'll move on to the second one and so on until they find the first one available. Click on continue. Here's where you fill out the call sign. So I'm gonna type mine in there and then you'll just click continue. Um, often it's good to have multiples in there just in case um, the, uh, there's been a request for the one you want and it was submitted before yours but it hasn't been approved yet. That way um, you'll you'll have an option if they, uh, um, that one's already been taken. Um, next, they're gonna have some personal information, once your name and your address and your contact information. Usually this should be correct. If it's not, go ahead and update it. Click on continue. And then they're gonna ask you a question of, um, has the federal court or any other court asked, um, convicted you of a felony answer the way, um, if no, then no, yes, then yes, and it'll ask you to explain why. Click continue. Um, lastly, it's going to um, present you with a summary screen, and that's just going to list out some of your answers, and then um, you can click continue to certify, and that'll just uh, take you to a page that um, has you type your name and hit uh, submit, and that will be your signature. So um, that is how you request a vanity call sign. It's that simple. And then once it's approved, just keep coming back to the license manager um, to check. Once it's approved, it should show up under your main license page and your call sign will be updated there. Typically, this process takes 20 days because they do allow for mail-in vanity call sign requests. And uh, um, so once that 20 days is passed, then they go ahead and, and grant those requests. Um, 
but it may take a little longer um, depending on the, the situation. So just keep checking back and uh, you'll see it up here um, once it's there. So uh, that is uh, how you get your vanity call sign. Being able to customize pieces of your radio journey can really improve your overall experience. Now that you know the simple steps to creating a custom vanity call sign, all that's left is to come up with your new radio identity. Now, go out there and express yourself over the radio. As always, if you find yourself struggling, feel free to call our support line at 816-532-8451. Our in-house tech team is more than happy to help you on your ham radio journey. Lastly, thanks for watching. I'm Eric, Whiskey Zero, Echo Zulu Alpha, and 7.3.